Good practice today. I really cool weather. The temperature was perfect. The guys, the speed of practice, I was really enthused with. Uh, fresh legs, uh, guys, healthy out there on the field. Got a lot more of our body, almost all of our bodies back, and just good to get those guys out there. I, I was very pleased with practice. Very pleased. Speaking of that, Mario Pender's been out a couple days. How's he holding up? Good. He, he's practiced. He practiced today. He got took reps and uh, didn't take him on. We limited him a little bit, but I, I was. He's much farther along than I anticipated. I, I didn't anticipate him being this far along at this stage, and uh, very pleased with his progress. Very pleased. It's been a while since you had three healthy running backs. Yeah, it has been. It has been. And that's rare at that position because you get banged and bruised so much. And Jameis moving around okay? Yeah, Jameis practiced every day. Took every snap. Did everything. It was good. A leg wind mispractice today? Huh? Yeah, I mean, he's still banged and bruised, I mean, from that whole that whole scenario. Cam said that he didn't even know Jameis was hurt. I know he's Jameis is usually behind him, but when did you know Jameis hurt his ankle? Was that as soon as he did it? Or yeah, he came, came off and told me. Okay. He came off and told me. So they, they dinged up my ankle. You're right? Yeah. <laughs> that was it. So pain's temporary. Move on. You said uh, previously that Barron could be back sometime in November. Now, yeah, there's a chance they're talking about. There's a chance he could be he could be back out here practicing by next week. There's a chance. I mean, I don't know. There's X-rays look good. He's doing some things right now as far as rehab, and, it, and they're getting great encouragement. So there's a chance he could be out here by next week. Has he started snapping yet, or no? I, I don't know. They, they, all the rehab stuff he's been doing. We'll see when he gets out here. What needs to happen for for him to get back to the field next week? Just the doctors. I mean, where that they feel good about his healing and where his the tests and all the things are going, the rehab with him and where that's all at. That's all they're. <laughs> that's all they're doing. You have to talk to them about that. <laughs> a little easier for Coach Miller to practice actually having some bodies. Yeah. He didn't have anybody left. Get all those linebackers out yeah. there. Exactly right. Getting them back in practice and rotating and keeping a good fresh group. It was good. Terrence doing okay. Yes, Terrence was fine. Uh, I. He was in all the drills and everything. Too early to say if you'll have all those guys back for for this week. Yeah, I, I'm anticipating having mm -hmm. them back, but I mean, it's always early till they. You know, see how those in how. Sometimes you have an injury just after a day or two of work and how it feels, but mm -hmm. I don't anticipate anything happening. Hey, well, how is JJ doing? JJ. Grasping the offense. Costantino. He's doing a great job over on the scout team and in the meetings, picking things up and in the individual drills. And we're throwing things and he's over there. Boy, you really see is just comfortable now. And you see that arm talent coming out and, and things he's doing. Do you see, can you grab a kid that's red shirting like that? Well, like Jameis did in 2012 when they're working with the scout team. And I don't know how often Jameis did. But yeah, can you I, see, no, Jameis was over the whole time. Can you see the glimpses that you need to see when they're Yeah, you do. Team? When you you see the arm strength, you see plays. You Because they're reading off a card and they get the. It's almost their instincts, you know what I'm saying? The ad-libbing and doing things because they're not on a script. They're just looking at a card, and you get to see some ability to – the physical abilities and to cre be creative, make right. plays. But also in your offense, it's not instincts. you got to know the offense. Oh, no, and any – got to know the offense, and then you, when it breaks down, you got to turn to that, yes. Is he getting that? Seems to be, but it, it's still – I mean uh, – he didn't get enough reps to know it. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? For us to know that whole thing. But he's in the meetings. He takes notes. He's very attentive. Does a good job that way. Virginia seems to blitz a lot. You've been had oh, played last couple teams do that. Has that helped a lot? Being able to see different oh, kind of blitzes. Oh, I, I think you 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 have to be able to pick up the blitz in today's football. I mean, that's the way people are pressuring and trying to get after the quarterback and affect him, get extra numbers in the run game, create different trains the gaps up front with movement. You know, when they're blitzing. So I mean, it's a that's that's ball today. And if you can't handle the blitz, you're in trouble. You said the other day about seeing different things from different. People like Notre Dame having the blitz that you hadn't seen before. Do you do you try to anticipate stuff like that at all, or do you? You do. We, I mean, we, and, and eventually how they do it. You, we've worked every about every blitz known to man, but there's always something you see, and you have rules. You, you know, you have. That's why you don't teach plays or look. You got to teach conceptually. If they do this, and, and and you have answers for it to get out of it, whether it's a side adjust, a hot, a check, you know, whatever it may be. You guys uh, had, had been better short yardage running. Didn't do so great the other night. Had we had that one. We had one situation where we did. Was and that it, was it. Was it uh, we had a missed block, and it had a guy penetration. And on second one, we handed it. If we had stayed on the right side and we ran about 40 yards down the sideline, we wouldn't have been in third and one. <laughs> we missed a cut bad on two. I mean, everybody took a turn. Second one, I mean, it, they blocked it perfectly. There was a, at least a 10 to 15 yard gain on the right side that would have gashed out. We made a poor cut. And on third and one, we just over, they, they pinched the guy and overstepped and got some penetration. People always wonder why you don't sneak on fourth and one. What do you guys do? Yeah, we do. Just philosophy of what you're going to do and what the play is. I mean, and what their defense is. And they had a gap pressure with two, three techniques. That's hard. And you have a freshman center. That's a hard that's a hard road to hoe right there then.
Jimbo, I asked you about it yesterday. Is Kermit close to busting some of these things? Yeah, we, we actually on the we missed two blocks. We set back about three yards deep on the block. If we edge it out, he can get a better seam. And he's got to stand up. He can't fall down too. Well, well, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but you know we're close. I mean, and we got we got to continue to block. And there's one other one that was inches. We had two of them inches were coming out. We got to block a little better. But they got to hit them too. It's it's all coming. It's, it's all together.